When I received this cube a few months ago, its speed was similar to that of the original Wayland GTS, maybe a bit slower, and I was loving it. The cube's turning feel associates very much with a Volk and an original GTS. Two outstanding puzzles. Lockups weren't too much of a problem, but at times were bugging me. After a few hundred cells on this puzzle, I broke my PB mean of 3, average of 50, and average of 100. But I wasn't sure if it would overtake my current main, the Volk, because the performances were very similar and quite hard to judge. A little while after this, I started to slow down. I wasn't meeting my standards and I was feeling a bit disappointed in myself. At this point, I was questioning the GTS2's ability. Does this cube now suck or do I suck? To test this, I picked up my Volk for a session and realised I'd forgotten to lubricate the Wailing GTS2. Two drops of DNM37 did it though. What? So as for the comparison of this and the Volk, the GTS2 is a stable version of the Volk. Most other qualities are the same. But the GTS2 has a slightly more blocky feel, and the Volk is more agile and flexible. Based on this brief description, you may be able to decide what you prefer out of the two. And if you're looking for a new cube, they're both awesome. Eight eighty eight average.